What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with a discussion video. And hey, I told y'all it was coming, so hey, these are my final thoughts on the whole Kendrick versus Drake beef and such. Hey, make, first of all, before I get into it and such, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And if you want to be generous to me and search for all these, well, for the better part of four years or five years that I've been doing YouTube and such, hey, hit that join button if you want to. But look, all I'm going to say is this. This rap beef, right, between Kendrick and Drake, man, oh man, has it been crazy. From the countless back and forth diss tracks dropping and such. And then not only with that and such, you got other rappers going at Drake and such. From Rick Ross and such. And then the main one from like Rick Ross, Future, Metro, <laughs> with The Weeknd, ASAP Rocky and all that and such. From that, from Future and Metro's album, We, we Don't Trust You. And then the and then the deluxe one being read up. We still don't trust you and such. Hey, Drake. From a vocal point, it's like from this first point of it, where Drake. In a way, I want to talk about how with three things about it. One being the many distracts that came from it. Two of how. Kendrick really supports like us reactors and such and mostly three define the like the aftermath of the beef and such so the first one being the distractions the like what was I said see you see how quick I instantly forget sometimes but either way Look, all I'm saying is this. From like the instant when, all right. So number one, basically from the instant, right? That when, well, this is basically like this. We all know that when it first started, it was the first person shooter or so you can say. Where Drake and J. Cole, even though a lot of people are clowning on J. Cole and such of how technically it was supposed to be Drake J. Cole and Kendrick, but Kendrick didn't want to do it and such, so it was just them two. But then, in a way, with the song, how it went with J. Cole, and boy, did this ever aged terribly well for terribly for J. Cole, where he's talking about how it was just the big three. But honestly, I feel like Muhammad Ali, but, but basically saying that the he was basically saying about how him and Drake are the best two and such of the big three. And Kendrick is just meh <laughs> and boy did months later did Kendrick ever came back to respond it on that like that with him future and Metro and such boy still to this day people are only look I guarantee you this a lot of people have only just bumped that specific song cuz I cuz hey just like how Kendrick does it Whenever he, whether he drops on his own songs or on features and such, whatever that nigga says or raps about, it gon' shift the culture. And God damn it, did it ever. Cause I guarantee you, the minute when people hear him taking shots at Drake and J. Cole, boy oh boy, did it ever sent wavelengths around the hip-hop culture and then fast forward um, and because this was this happened back in March and then fast forward to April of like 7th and so April 7th right even though J. Cole responded with seven minute drill and in a way hey people were hyped in a way people at first we wanted to see if it would be like Kendrick and J. Cole and even though J. Cole came with his diss track on with 7 Minute Drill, 
nine times out of ten. And then as soon as when, days later, he apologized and such, which was great. Look, it's basically like this. To each his own, right? He did what he had to do, but all I'm just saying, at least waited until Kendrick could have dropped a diss track on you, and then you could have bowed out and said that he won, but you didn't even wait till he did that. So, it is what it is. But, initially, we finally got Kendrick drop. We finally got... No, we basically didn't get Drake who responded to everybody who was taking shots at him with push-ups. And hey, I ain't gonna lie, Drake was getting at everybody from Rocky, Weekend, Future, Metro, Ross, which is crazy. Rick Ross of all people getting at Drake with this whole BBL BS. <laughs> but then get it is true. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is, maybe it is. I don't know. And then freaking, and then hey, with Drake coming back at Kendrick, I mean not Kendrick, I had everybody on that we we don't trust you album by Future and Metro, <laughs> and then obviously wanted Kendrick to start responding and such. Then he came back with Taylor Made, but then it's kind of crazy that then this nigga started to use AI for Tupac and such, right? Now on to like. So how the, I don't know like I was saying with the diss tracks now for the second one bro everybody like I like I stated before everybody on that we still don't trust you bro everybody had shots for Drake here and there freaking Travis Scott I even forgot about him sorry that was my phone Travis Scott the weekend I didn't even know the weekend was beefing with this nigga at one point, hey, that's it. <laughs> Freaking ASAP Rocky, cause you know how he uh, he got Rihanna and such, and you know for for a small period of time Drake and Rihanna was like this couple, not to say couple, but like the most we, the most time when I ever see, the only time when I can see these two were like a ish couple ish was that damn song Work. I trust me, I hate. Look. It's not the fact that I hated the song, it's just that, bro. Uh, either way. Not to hate them too, but, you know. But yeah, the many diss tracks that was coming out. And then Drake, like I said earlier, Drake responded and such with push ups, aiming at everybody, right? He was aiming at everybody. It was a 20v1. <laughs> and hey, Drake was still swinging. He ain't. He wasn't ducking and such, but then Lord and behold, Kendrick finally dropped with Euphoria. Sorry. Right? He finally dropped, responded to Drake. And did he ever? And then freaking Drake dropped back with, I think it was Family Matters. Right? Yeah, he dropped Family Matters and such after that one. And just when you thought Drake was about to hype up and such, this nigga Kendrick dropped one, and uh, you can say an hour. It said, if I'm not mistaken, he dropped, he dropped then Meet the Grams an hour, er, an hour later after freaking Drake dropped Family Matters. And it's like he planned that. Just when you think like he was on this raw raw and such, Drake was on this raw raw because it was like a hit record, right? It was like a hit for hit, and, well not for saying hit for hit, but Drake was more likely in that round doing the hit record, while Kendrick, he was on that trying to get a hit on Drake. Really trying to get a hit on Drake, not really hit hit, which is crazy because later on what I'm going to tell y'all, it for the after, for like the aftermath, it's crazy. With the Meet the Grams, bro, that dark, sinister piano tone and such, it was crazy, right? Crazy. Throughout the entire thing, because it, it wasn't like he was trying to switch up a flow. It, he switched up the flow, 
as soon as when it was later on in the song but bro the way how Kendrick K dot just came on that one pause no diddy he was aiming at Drake obviously his son he was talking to his son Adonis his mom his dad and his alleged daughter and such and look all I can say is even if just to say if it's true or not right cuz I'm just saying with the way how push it if y'all remember how Pusha T came in this and that Jake and such talking about how he was hiding his son and such from the world and <laughs> Drake didn't learn his lesson from that time but because of Pusha T we get to see Adonis every single time and such but I'm just saying maybe if it's true or not if any of this nigga Drake is hiding another kid Drake stop having kids right stop having kids cool and then as soon as when to the basically to the end Kendrick was like railing saying about you lied about the did you lied about the da. like bro at the end Kendrick just ramped it up more and more and more with the intensity in his voice where nigga man was sounding dire Follicle on this and such <laughs> and then at the end where he was saying about how fuck a rap battle this is a this is a battle with your life or something like that in the lines of like that not read not the record like that but in the lines or and so right I might be paraphrasing it bro he really said this did he even at that point this be, this turned from a rap battle to exposing the hell out of Drake because you know how most this track is mostly for like sparring with lyricism and so and so right cool but Drake no but Kendrick sorry it was like coming great came say nah fuck all that this ain't the and, pl and crazy thing is Drake was the one who initially started it with the with mentioning his family and such and especially on family matters where at the end no he was coming at everybody right but he but the main focus was supposed to be Kendrick but he was getting at everybody who was taking shots at him shut up phone he was coming at everybody but then at the end where Drake was saying about how Kendrick allegedly oh allegedly right they his management team try to clean up the fact that he beat on his his queen beat on his girl his mixed girl and such to be a fact and look that was hey Drake on himself was a he responded good he responded well but then like I said with meet the grams that just shut the entire momentum in a way that shut the entire momentum of that track down whatever hype that was whatever hype it got and such he shut that shit down Kendrick shut it down and such saying like oh you think you have cuz even if it wasn't like responding back did he? No, he responded that on the other song and such. But in a way, he he planted it in such because he knows that if anyhow people are gonna be saying, "Oh, Kendrick, they think he got you on this one and such," and da da da, da. bam, came in with that one and init and annihilated that hype up over that one. And then with the and then to to out Drake Drake. Kendrick drop again with not like us and boy oh boy did that ever it's basically like this for all the Drake stands out there right all the Drake stands not the fans the stands cuz some of y'all stands out there even for Kendrick stands too some of y'all stands out there is something else but for, but for this portion I'm talking to the Drake stands. Y'all saying about how oh he don't oh Kendrick don't have these club bangers. He don't do these 
hit records and such well you said you know what cool you know what I'm gonna prove y'all wrong he is not like us that it came into like the, and then had DJ mustard mustard on the beat ho like nigga what the way how that had that that west coast energy bounce and such while aiming while lyrically coming in crazy and then getting shots at Drake like bro some of the most quotable was in those were like I probably struck like one was I probably struck a chord but it I pop I probably struck a chord but it be a minor or something like that right some somewhere in the lines like that right but he's probably a minor like bro at that part I saw like a video where all reactors when they heard that part right there they went crazy no life shack school face John Stevie Knight bro everybody almost everybody on social who was reacting to it and such when they heard that little part went crazy sorry I had a drop chair and then yeah. <laughs> and then one of it was let me hear you say OVO oh, OVO oh, they OVO oh, they step this way step this way step this way that and then but then in the middle where he was saying about her, and then and crazy thing is with Kendrick not only he gonna give you like that west coast type bop and such he gonna give you like a and give you like that vibe, like that energy, like that braggadocious type energy. Nigga gonna give you like a lesson in there. Cause in the end, cause earlier on in the song and such, he broke down the lesson. He literally like break it down saying about how Atlanta is and that. With the beach chains and whatnot. And then, well, this nigga broke it down to a science. He really dumbed it down for us, just so we, but dumb, dumbed it down and still delivered hard ass facts and such. Where he was quoting the, quoting Atlanta rappers like 21 Savage, Quavo, t uh, 2 Chains, Lil Baby, and such. Bro, Kendrick came crazy on that one. Basically, it's like not like No Life Shacks title where he reacted to that say This nigga made a club banger diss track. Literally. And literally. Every, as soon as when that bitch dropped, everybody. I even saw a video where some like, El, some like West Coast you can I guarantee you everybody basically I saw two niggas freaking like crip walking or dancing to, like two stepping in such in that damn with that damn song and hell freaking in the club around and such were playing it hell when Rick Ross did a little video and such I heard that bitch playing in the background I'm like Eesh. So for all them Drake stands out there who said Kendrick couldn't make club bangers and such, bitch, he proved y'all asses wrong. And hey, I know I was a little late on, but for all them Kendrick stands out there, Kendrick stands too, y'all can get it too. Y'all talking about how Drake can't lyrically match up to Kendrick? Yes the heck he can. Yes the heck he can. Cause he, but the thing is, we was just wanted, we all know we just wanted Kendrick and Drake, but you because everybody else was firing shots at him, he had to, you think he wouldn't go and, it's best like this. If you got the entire, if you got almost the entire industry on you, pause, aiming, taking disses at you left to right, right, up and down all the way around, and you're supposed to be focused on this one main person that you're supposed to diss. That's just gonna leave you opportunity for the other guys, for the other artists out there, for the other rappers out there to start firing shots at you more. Right? And then now when Drake finally responded again 
with the heart part six a little play off Kendrick's like the heart part and all that and such I know I reacted to it initially where I said he's not out yet he don't sound like he's not out yet but if you look at up how with the push-ups the tailor-made and family matters right he had this boast he had this like energy where yeah who want it come get it like if you want to talk if you want to talk about it we can talk about it and such right but in this one initially I like I said initially I just thought he was like really saying he was planned out so talk about how he planned false info and such right initially I just thought he wasn't I found it, it was still good of a response I guess right but like I said with the way how he was bolstering with the way how he's on that big dog energy on the last three songs and such this one he felt a little defeated like he waved the white flag saying I surrender and such and bro now for the aftermath of all this bro from the minute when Kendrick was caught put those allegations on Drake where he is like a pedo and he be around little kid little girls and such bro this is just on me right this is totally on this is just could be people like me who didn't even know because I know people say oh it's been around for years mother sucker most of us don't even be around it's basically like this we may be fair how much how can I put this where we might follow these guys we might follow these artists that we love to a certain degree but we don't follow but we not like freaking stands you can say like fan, like making fan pages and all that and such we ain't like that so as soon as when Kendrick came out saying about putting these allegations on Drake saying that he a pedophile and all that and such tell me why when Drake had to before he responded with a diss track, with, with another response, with another song. Everything that he got, and which one was it? From mostly Meet the Grams. Tell me why, out of all the things he, Kendrick claimed, he allegedly claims Drake to be, the one thing he got from that was that if anybody can find my 11 year old daughter and such I'll quit rap nigga so you need to tell me the only thing you responded to was the 11 year old daughter one claim and then when you look back at it in the the hard part six when he was talking about how oh I'm too rich and famous to be if I would have done that I would like basically two parts where he was saying by oh if I would have done that I would be in jail right now and then he said about how I'm too rich and famous to do that nigga I, we've learned over the years whether you're a rapper or celebrity I, it don't matter how rich it don't matter how rich how famous motherfucker it don't matter Epstein and shit. Nah. It don't matter. Jeff don't it don't matter. Look at it don't matter. Cause nigga. And then so as soon as when cause really think about it. I know it is and as like I said earlier, I know it's been out there for years. But then as soon as when Kendrick said that, this is when you know Kendrick is definitely part of this big three talk cause Whenever they speak, like with the likes of Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick, whenever they speak about something, the culture just like ships where it goes crazy. And boy, oh boy, when Kendrick start putting those claims on him, nigga, the videos of certain shit that Drake done in the past came out. How he's been with like, he's like been with certain girls who are like underage and shit. Where even with one video where 
he has this like 17 he was dancing with this 17 year old girl and as soon as when he asked about her age he was joking and saying ah shit but I'm just but then still on with like nigga first of all I don't want to say this for the it's crazy even though the girl spoke out about it saying about how that was then and she's 31 now and it didn't matter back then it didn't it doesn't matter now Nick girl no mm -mm. don't say that it still matters just because you just because it was years ago it still don't change the fact that nigga you was underage this nigga was 23 at the time uh -uh. Mm -mm. it still counts it still matters don't matter if it was at it was tw two decades ago still matters and then with the whole incident and then what we hear about how with Drake got his mansion shot up and such bro it's just crazy that as soon as when Kendrick responded with not like us with the and the thumbnail was literally Drake's like mansion with the neighborhood watch for child predator for like predators marks on it and such literally literally on the news it was talking about how the same place where shot up was on like Kendrick was that photo of Kendrick and you know what I'm trying to say and but hey it was crazy but I wanted to also say that with Kendrick man I should have reacted to these songs earlier cuz if I would have known about this little news where Kendrick removed all copyright claims meaning that if anyhow you was a small or big channel big reaction channel and you reacted to that reacted to of his diss tracks and such his response songs and such bro <laughs> with the amount of views you got a hey, I'm gonna leave it like a I'm gonna talk about more of that on like another video if you want me to, I probably will. But bro, all I can say is I should have re if I would have, if bro, man, I should have not let. Even if my laptop was having like a purple scheme, I should have not let that stop me from reacting, nigga. Cause goddamn it, I should have. Cause I know it was from the shit. That was on my part. That was on my part. I should have reacted. But either way, it was crazy. That just shows you that Kendrick real Kendrick will say like nah, look for all the reactors out there big and small look this ain't about money to me cuz trust me I'm all I already got mine not to say he was like boasting about it but he already got his and such so I want others to eat off of what I'm doing and such I want other people like the reaction community I want them cuz let them eat off of what we're doing let them eat off of what I'm trying to kill on you and such so hey that was a big part of Kendrick but bro all I can say is that with the way how this all I'm saying is Drake if in the next song you drop and you don't come back with that same energy or we don't hear an, and ooh, let these allegations and if anyhow these allegations are true, even if there's been videos about it many years and such, still, if, if these allegations are actually true, with you being the having a daughter and the pedophile and all that and that such, and then Kendrick, you went off the hook too, my nigga, with you being your, your girl, come on now, you went off the hook too, even though you came with a... Even though, but even though we, I did hear a video clip where, well, video, audio clip of Kendrick saying he didn't do it, it's false and all. Still, we don't know. That's on Kendrick's side, but what about the girl? We didn't hear a response from her. But it is what it is. But all I'm saying is, Drake, this man, this nigga Drake is done. <laughs> I'm not just saying done, done, but pff, with a man. Basically like this, with the many clips on like TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram and all that and such, bro, the way how these people, 
everybody from comedians and whatnot talking about how Drake got smoked. <laughs> hey, Drake, it's over for you, my dude. But look, hopefully y'all sticked around to the end of this, man, this 30 minutes or so video. Y'all let me know in the comments below what you, who y'all think won. Or let me know who you think won. And don't be stands, just actually be smart with it and such you let me know who y'all think won if these allegations are actually true true and such because we don't admittedly know if he's act if Drake is actually but it is what it is and with Drake and Kendrick too and all in all if there ever be another if with this with this many diss tracks coming out if Kendrick gonna actually drop like an album and such, cause trust me, if this ain't a good time to start dropping more music, Kendrick, cause he was dropping more with the diss tracks. We need, we now need like song songs from you. Kind of like how Not Like Us is, but on the level of like just trying to bring out more songs out of you. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. And all I can say is, Drake, it might be over for you, my boy. <laughs> I'm out.